Welcome to the channel. So the goal of today's video is to try to find something that can cover the backside of my truck to prevent salt from going underneath the truck and getting on the hitch when I'm plowing snow. So I've only used this spreader maybe four or five times so far this year. It's been a pretty slow year and it's already taken its toll on my hitch. You can see it's already starting to rust. I got some fluid film on it, but what actually ended up happening is my guard uh, came loose because I was using the wing nuts that uh, buyers supplies when they uh, give you this uh, this uh, salt spreader, uh, the salt dog, and it, it uses wing nuts on these, and you really got to put a tool on them and tighten them up, or else they come loose. And they came loose, and I almost lost this guard. I caught it in time, and I had to remove the guard in order to keep uh, going. So I had to salt without even having this, and the salt pretty much just blasted the rear uh, hitch and everything and it really took its toll just in one day's use but I ended up spraying it off I could see a little bit of salt rust damage that happened pretty much immediately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a piece of rubber that can hang maybe from here and go all the way down and just cover everything hopefully I don't know if I'll be successful in that endeavor but hopefully I can find something I'm gonna check the local truck supply that and hopefully I can find something that can just cover the rear and keep a lot of that salt off of the truck so anyway guys let's hit the truck supply and see what we can find all right so this is an old truck bed mat that I picked up from the truck supply it's used and they only charged me 25 bucks for it. it's pretty heavy duty rubber so we're gonna go ahead and wash it off to see what we got here it was wrapped up real nice in plastic so it's pretty clean I thought it was gonna be worse but I can pretty much just cut it and just hang it off the wood here off the wood and go ahead and from there it would cover the rear of the truck from salt so anyway let's get back home and see if we can get this to work all right guys so i've been messing with this for a while but check it out i got it all trimmed up uh right around here we just kind of trimmed it along the top so that it can hang give me a little bit of bumper protection you know this rubber here we back into something give you a little bit of cushion um but yeah it looks pretty good uh i just got two nails holding it on right now just for right now and i'm gonna secure it with some actual screws but yeah it looks to be pretty good actually maybe i should actually uh run a bolt through it one nice size bolt right here would uh would also work good but yeah turned out pretty good uh comment below tell me what you think um but yeah it's going to offer a lot of protection. Does it look centered? It looks perfectly centered. I've just kind of eyeballed everything. I use this drywall tee to make straight cuts. And we just uh, kind of sliced and diced and installed this protection for the truck. So, like I said, when we actually initially salted for the first time, we lost our guard totally. No guard at all. And the truck got blasted. And it... I've been meaning to do something like this, and this worked out real good. I picked this up from the local truck supply, NBC Trucking, and they recommended this. I didn't. I just went in looking for the biggest mud flaps you can buy, and they recommended this. This worked out good, and you know I didn't want to go too low with it, you know, hanging off the bottom of the truck. So then the wind, you know, if it goes down the highway, I don't want the wind whipping it. So maybe the next step would be to get some bolts and go through the wood uh, the wood's got a good amount of screws holding it and it's not ter too terribly heavy plus once you put your your uh, spinner on it it kind of holds it up anyway so anyway I'm gonna get some more securing going and I'll show you guys the final product once it's all complete see you guys once it's done all right guys so I'm pretty much done uh putting this rubber on i've trimmed it cut it and everything i didn't want to go too crazy with the overhang i had it pretty much down to the ground and i decided to pull it up a little bit down low would be too much air movement catching too much air if it were to go down the highway i feel like here we're about seven inches from the bottom of the hopper it's kind of curling out this way toward the outside which is nice um, and I think that will keep a lot of salt off the truck. Hopefully pretty much all of it. We'll see how it works though. Um, but yeah, we got a good coverage on our bumper. It could be a little more 
you know, all the way to the end would be nice, but that would absorb a lot of impact if if uh if that ever became an issue. There are some scrap pieces. Maybe I could go ahead and you know do something like that. I don't know. It's not that big a deal. Um something like that. But you know, it looks real good the way it is. So I'm just hanging it off of the wood box that we built earlier this year and I use roofing nails because you know, I'm kind of using what I have around so I got five roofing nails in here and also ran a bolt through here with the washer and the nut on the other side so you know that's really like making sure that nothing ever comes off you know bolt heavy big bolt um, the roofing nails are just quick and easy tack them in real quick and they hold pretty good as well, but the bolts really, you know, the the guarantee. Um, and then also I reinforced this. I didn't want this to be loose or compromised in any way because it's holding all this weight now. So I went ahead and just took a two by four, took two screws, uh, pre-drilled, and then sunk them down in there. And then took two screws going this way and then so that way you know this is really solid you know that way it's not moving i did that on both sides it's really solid can't really get it to flex at all so now the salt spreader is wedged in there real nice and tight between here uh somehow the straps ever came loose which is pretty unlikely you know the spreader itself can't fly out or slide out uh like i said five roofing nails and a bolt going through and I'm curious to see how it works. I really got to clean up. I can't start this thing up right here right now because of all this stuff here. So let me I'll clean up and I'll run a little bit of salt through it and see how it protects or if it protects or what happens. So anyway, uh, if we have enough daylight, I'll do that. Uh, so anyway, see you guys if we can do that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put it on its lowest setting. Turn the spinner on level one. And we'll turn the auger to level one and we'll see what happens here. Pretty slick. What do you think, guys? Good protection or what? Let's turn the spinner up a little bit. Pretty cool, guys. And that's all the salt that we had in there. Maybe give a little quick vibrate and see if that uh, gets a little bit out of there. What do you think? You like? <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Comment below, tell me what you think. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool protection. Look at all this powder that came out of there. Salt powder. Um, but yeah, it keeps a lot of uh, material off of the bumper. Um, you know, this whole area generally will get plastered from that. And now it doesn't comment below tell me what you think and hope to hear from you soon thanks a lot bye